What is going on? No horsing around. Family Zach Boyd back at it again. Jonathan Taylor's saga continues as he's now no longer with the team. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who cares? I don't know. Maybe someone cares. Um, sure, Jonathan Taylor cares a lot about getting that contract extension off of rehabbing. Um, been some kind of miscellaneous reports coming out that he may have had a, a second ankle surgery here recently. Uh, there's just so many layers to this that's just odd and just weird and just confusing to Colts fans. And when it comes to injuries, we all know how the Indianapolis Colts have a history with handling injuries, in particular the ankle injury. Um it's just not been good over the years. They haven't been fully transparent. But at the same time, I'm not so sure that, that Taylor's been fully transparent. There's just not a good gauge on as to what's going on. He's the only player left on the pup list. Very untypical for you to let a player leave site, go work out, and still remain on the, you know, on the PUP list. Normally you would want to rehab, you know, in the facility. It's pretty clear he's become a distraction. Um, it's clear that they have other ideas and other thoughts. And what could this mean? You know, could this be me? Could this mean that, you know, if you're the conspiracy theorist out there, you believe that they're, that they're working on, you know, maybe, maybe he's taking physicals, you know, to, to be a potential trade. Um, is he just more comfortable not being a part of the, with the facility, not being a part of the team doing his own individual rehab, do the Colts just prefer him to be away from the team because he has been a distraction to the fan base, to the team, just in general? Um, no clear end in sight when it comes to the Jonathan Taylor saga. I just don't quite understand um, how this all comes to. You know, I, I, I don't know what eventually happens. I'd love to think, you know, cooler has prevailed. Jonathan Taylor gets back on the practice field, then eventually gets back on the football field. And then he goes out there and does Jonathan Taylor things, and then he gets paid that extension that he's really wanted from, from the beginning. Um, hard to negotiate with a guy who has an injury, who's coming off of an injury, who's taken this long to rehab. And now if the reports are true that he's had a second surgery on the same ankle, you know, is there a bigger issue that we just don't know about, that we haven't, haven't been privy to, to, to being told about up until this point? And I just don't really know – where you go from here, man. I mean, you, you know, you've got Kareem Hunt coming in the building. Um, you've already signed veteran, you know, Kenyon Drake. You just don't have any idea of what direction we're going in. And it's unfortunate, man, because, I mean, it should be a year that we're talking so much about this exciting young rookie quarterback, this rookie class in general, you know, Juju Brents, Josh Downs, just these guys in general. Um, Shaq Leonard a guy who's healthy for the first time in a very long time. But yet we had this dark cloud over our team and over this city because we can't find a resolution. And this hasn't ha been, been handled well, really on both sides of the, of the fence. Hadn't been handled well with the ownership. Hadn't been handled well with, you know, management and, and agency on Jonathan Taylor. He hasn't done himself any favors with the fan base. And it's just a complete shit show at this point, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's just been – something that has been a huge distraction. And I'm happy we're going to get into, you know, this Saturday going to play Buffalo. We're going to talk about football. We're going to stop talking about, you know, these storylines. We can't stop talking about it because he's such a vital player, you know, and has been a vital player to this football team. But at the same time, let's start talking about those guys that are trying to fight and earn their spot and make their way on the football field. We're so interested in your comments. Light us up. Like, rate, review, share, and subscribe. Join this No Horsing Out Round family as we continue to grow. We are just so fired up to be doing this with you guys. It's because of you guys that we continue to be able to put out all of this amazing footage, have media access, be down there on the field. More of that comes with the bigger that we grow, and we only grow because of you. So super big shout-out to you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, as always.